these two custom rooms are literally same so if you have any one of these custom rooms available for your device then you can try out any one of them these custom rooms are actually same and most of the customizations and features are literally same and we're going to talk about some of the things in this video so stay tuned firstly both of these custom rooms comes with their own launcher the first one is spark os which is having spark launcher rise for it or rising os is having otters launcher but in reality both of these custom launch both of these launchers have same features same features almost every same feature available there google search bar music search etc if you move on to the miscellaneous option taskbar support hide protect apps etc same options everywhere same thing applies to settings ui also if you move on to settings UI, this is by default settings ui by the way if you want to customize that you have the option to do that in spark os you have the option to do that in fireworks section and in spark oh sorry in rising os you have the option named as personalization section you have all those options available both of these custom homes supports the android 11 style quick settings ui and it is not enabled by default you just have to open the quick settings ui customizations enable android 11 and after that you have to enable the quick setting styles or you have the option for quick setting styles layout you can see even in the quick setting tiles things are basically same in tiles layout you have the option to adjust the columns rows etc etc same thing is available in rising os also some differences are like some options are available in quick settings panel in tiles layout particular section in spark os those things are available in any other section in rising os but literally same one thing which is different here in spark os what i found here is in miscellaneous section is the add blocker option block ads with a modified host file which is unfortunately i did not found in rising OS. so this was the major difference which is of course not at all but this is what we have we also have the option to customize the setting styles as i just mentioned few seconds ago it's literally same in settings ui the one thing with the one option the settings ui one of the settings ui which i liked a lot is oxygen os 13 style else if you move on to the miscellaneous options you can notice here we have the option for game space parallel space and almost every same feature i found that system manager which i firstly found in spark os is also present in sorry firstly found in rising os is also available in spark os too and features and options are literally same here everything is same most of the features are same so yes if you have any one of these customers you can try out one more thing is the Google camera spoof option, which right now is having this option available for the Pixel devices only. Also in other miscellaneous settings, we have the floating rotate option, which is available in rising OS, which might not be present in Spark OS. So there are no major differences in both of these custom rooms. Both of these custom rooms have the lock screen clock style options literally same. If you move on to the lock screen clock options, you will see same kind of options there too. Same like that, if I move on to the theming options, Retigger notifications are present. We have the option to customize the about phone style. In lock screen, as I just men mentioned about the lock screen clock styles by swiping, which you can change some status bar customizations. And we have the option for some extra custom Voltivo Wi-Fi icons. This thing, I don't think so present in Rising OS. Not sure about that. But some features which were major differences in both of those customers I've already shared with you. But other things are basically same. You can notice miscellaneous, etc. Power menu. This is what we have. You also have a power menu styles options available. And if I move on to the rising OS, let me talk about some of the things here. For example, if I move on to the lock screen customizations, user switcher, which is present there too. Music ticker is also there. In miscellaneous, we have the smart pixels, etc. Quick settings, notifications also have the retigger notification style, which is basically the same. Let me show you. If you move on here, notification section, you will be able to find the clipboard overlay also. If I move on to the quick settings panel, I already told you about the Android 11 style quick settings panel. In sound section, in call vibration option, status bar, same options almost everywhere. You have the option to customize some icons, etc., but not the Volti and Wo Wi Fi icons. I think so. And if I move on to the user interface options, you have the option to customize the volume panel styles, etc. So these are the major differences or basically same things or similarities between both of these ones. If you want to install any of these custom rooms, you can try out and you will not regret using the other one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.